Hello Libra, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. I'm gonna do your bonus October 2023 Tarot reading and prediction. What's happening for you? Who's coming towards you? It's a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave the rest. You can book a personal reading. Everything is given in my description box. You can reach out to me if you want to. Um, please do not get scammed. I will never ever contact you. I will never reach out to you anywhere on social media. So let's see. Libra. Sun, moon, rising, any placements. You can write this reading. You can also switch the energies of your cross watcher. Libra bonus. What's happening for you? Who is coming? Oh, wow. Knight of Cups. There's definitely some type of a romantic. Ooh, two of cups. Ooh. Definitely someone romantic coming towards you. There's some type of a romance. There's some type of a romantic offer. Could be union with someone. You could be falling in love with someone. Um, you could be finding your soulmate or the perfect match, like someone that you can connect with. You are also, for some of you, you're someone is coming to ask you out. Like they want to meet you. They want to ask you out on a date maybe. Um, some of you, you are going there because you're already, I think, with a falling in love with this person. You're already talking to this person. So it's like a meeting happening between you and this person. Seven of Pentacles. Some of you, you're waiting for it. I think it's not arrived yet, but you're manifesting. They have been, I think, planning for a long time. Seven of Pentacles. This person has been planning for a long time. Yes, Knight of Wands. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, this could be same gender relationship. And others of you, this is talking about maybe you have options between a fire sign and water sign. You maybe need to make a choice. Maybe that's why you're gonna take your time to think about it. But Eight of Cups, okay, so some of you, Seven of Pentacles and Eight of Cups, you could be waiting for someone from your past, but there is someone, universe is going to give you this opportunity with the Wheel of Fortune to find someone new, to go out with someone new. Now, this could be the same person with this Knight of Cups and obviously Knight of Wands. This could be someone that who is in and out in your life, inconsistent, someone who's like a player energy with this a Knight of Cups and Knight of Wands. Like they, they know, they're very good with the words. They know what do they want. They are coming with like sweep you off your feet with a passion, with a desire, and they know uh, what they're going to say to you. So this could be even a reconciliation with someone, okay, with the Eight of Cups. Um, Reconciliation in the sense like this is someone who, I, I, because I'm seeing eight of cups and two of cups, it's like a ten of cups. This is someone that you had a missed opportunity with or they ghosted you or they did not see your worth and value. But with, with your absence, I think this is that person with the eight of cups. When you walked away or vice versa, uh, when you walked away from this person's life, they realized it or you walked away or they walked away from your life. Now you are realizing this person um, worth. OK, and you may be thinking, OK, with the Wheel of Fortune, I think that now time is changing. Uh, the perspective about this relationship has changed. So maybe you think this is your soulmate and you can connect with this person again. Either this is you, you're taking action towards this person or they're coming. I don't know, but there's definitely the energy here between you and this person or someone else that it's like some type of a, it's like come back here, return of someone with the Eight of Cups. Like this is someone, they have been thinking about you for a long time because the, the moment you walked away, the moment you left their life, the moment you, you just gone, you know, and from the, you went from their life, they're thinking about it. The Two of Cups, they really want a union with you. I think Wheel of Fortune is like, they're going to make it happen or they want to make it happen. Let's see more. Yeah, Ten of Wands. It's really, I think, it could be one-sided efforts like you were putting, yeah, 10, 10. You could be seeing 10, 10 number a lot. This is someone who was really like feeling a lot of burden and pressured to contact you. This was also some of you, it could be something more physical between you and this person, there was a lot of passion that this person, this connection was so intense or passion. There was a love, there was a passion, there was a lust. So it was too intense to handle, I think, their emotions, but now they're realizing it. I strongly feel this is someone who has a lot of passion and desire for you. This person could have a dimples on their face. So this could be significant for you or important. You could be also different from each other because I can see that black and white, but there's a differences between you and this person also. So this person thought that it's not gonna work with the 10 of wands, I think they were thinking it's too much. Like, it's not going to work. But now, I think they're realizing that they can handle it or they want this love. This person also going to, yeah, Page of Cups. I think, wow, this is definitely a message coming from this person. It's looked like a crush. Some of you, it's a crush. Okay, it's, um, this person thought it's a crush. Are they just like you? Are they just, you know, falling um, head over heels for you? Like they were just seeing you like you were cute, you're adorable. Or there was some type of a flirty energy going on between you and this person. But 
the moment you went, I think there's something happened with the Eight of Cups. Like you walked away or they walked away from your life or they ghosted you or this was too intense, like they cannot handle it. Or this person was too childish and immature with the pages and two nights. Like they were here and there, you know, like enjoying their other options or they were just like looking for some fun. But unfortunately, the other person was serious. So I think this, this looks like a one-sided effort. Like one person was putting too much, other person was not doing that that much. They were enjoying it, obviously, they, they, were, they were into you, they like you, or they had a crush on you, or they literally thought that it's, it's possible, but something happened. Something happened between you and this person. I strongly feel the message is coming from this person with the Page of Cups. You used to share uh, some type of a communication with each other, okay, and now it's, it's, it's stopped with the Eight of Cups. I think something stopped with the Eight of Cups and Seven of Pentacles. It's like something stopped between you and this person. So this person is finding this courage and strength to build up and to send you a message, but they're feeling already a lot of pressure. This person could be shy and reserved with the Page of Cups, like they can come off like very shy or they're going to say too little, but this person has a lot of passion and desire. They may be even going to ask you out. It's not just... Um, like you will literally know that this person is showing their interest in you. So please understand that even though they're going to send you a message like, hi, what are you up to? They're going to send you some type of a, like, let's say, uh, emoji. I'm, I'm almost speaking, I don't know why. Like they're going to send you some type of an emoji or a little bit short message uh, or maybe a something that's going to be very like significant. Like you will know that this person is interested in you. This is like they're making their move. And I also feel with this energy of the Page of Cups, like this is someone that you also maybe have a crush on, you adore them, or you like them, or, or you also, this could be a crush, like mutual crush, like your crush is liking you back or asking you out, so you're going to be happy and excited. I'm also feeling this person has a crush on you, they like you, so they're going to say it, but it's going to be very short and very, um, you know, like message, like you will know it that they're interested. Now I'm also feeling with the slovers here, bottom of the deck. Yes, I strongly feel this is someone, <sighs> look, it's, it's like yin and yang. So you both are mutually attracted to each other, but something between you and this person happened, like they never had a chance to say it to you. They never had a chance to tell you this. They never had a chance to, you know, um, express their feelings. Are you also gonna like them, by the way? This could be a Gemini. They could be Sagittarius, Pisces a lot of water and fiery energy in this person chart and they could be Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, definitely of mm, water. This person is very cute or they think you're very cute. There's something about cute energy. It's, it's a very innocent love, I think. This could be someone who's younger than you or they look young and fresh. So you're gonna like them with the two of cups and lover. This could be the love of your life. This, they, this is a long potential here. With the Wheel of Fortune, Two of Cups and Lovers, definitely it's your soulmate. It's, it's a destiny bringing you guys together. So before you say anything to this person, I think you really need to give them a chance and think about it, what they want to say. Because I think, look at this Four of Cups, there's a new message here. So this person definitely going to send you a message. Um, are they waiting for your message? I think you stop talking to them, you stop texting them, you stop. There's something that they're waiting for you to give them a sign. This person really, really likes you, okay? They're waiting for your message. Um, or they will send you a message, I think, but they're feeling a lot of pressure. They don't know. I strongly feel this could be uh, also could be some type of a message or call coming. Like someone definitely want to talk to you. I'm also feeling some of you, you may be going to get into some type of a business partnership with someone that's going to help you. Um, you could be also right now exhausted, so please take care of your health. I can see that. Uh, some of you be careful with your investment, where you're investing your money. There could be some type of unexpected income or, um, sorry, unexpected expenses can come to you very soon, so be careful. Um, you are also going, this person going to ask you out for a date, I strongly feel. You're going on a date with this person, they're going to ask you out for a date. They want to meet you, they want to see you, it's like a one-on-one -on -one meeting, I can see that. And this person's heart is beating for you, your heart is beating for them, it's mutual. They like you, you like them, you adore them, they adore you. So this is a very adorable, cute, sweet uh, energy. I also feel with these lovers here, you maybe have a two lovers, I'm picking up here Libra. It's, it's definitely someone who has option. you have options. Okay, so you're going to choose who you want to be with. Uh, so listen to your heart because the person who, who definitely going to, like you're going to, I think this is also someone who got very shy when you are around them. So this is a sign, like they got very shy. Their heart beats so fast. They're going to act very awkward and shy and adorable around you. You make this person so happy, like they literally they like you. I also feel you maybe have an option between two people. One person will be darker, other person will be could be a very like light complexion, a pale skin or a lighter skin. 
So I'm not talking about skin tone here, but I'm talking about to give you the significant, like who are these people. So definitely, I think one is very fiery, feisty, passionate, uh, go-getter. The one person gonna be, the other person gonna be like a little bit like romantic, emotional, sensitive. So you're gonna choose who you want to be with. I strongly feel you have options coming towards you. Now there's also some type of a, um, Creative offer coming to you? Are you gonna start something creative? Maybe that's why you're gonna. That's how you're gonna meet your uh, lover. So you really need to show your creativity, whatever the work it is. Yeah, we have a wishes coming through. Yeah, this is like um, stars align, dream coming true. It's about fulfillment. It's about happiness. It's about shooting star. I can see that. So make a wish. Whatever the, you're wishing, it's coming. Now keep going. Some of you, it's about uh, your career, something that's gonna, your wish is gonna be fulfilled in something about, could be romance or could be something about your career. Don't stop, keep going. You will be definitely um, successful. I'm also seeing with the clarity. Some of you, you need to do meditation or clear thinking if you have options or choices or if you, are, you need to make up your mind like what do you want to do about in your career or, yeah, there's someone who's regretting. They're in deep regret. Um, that they never told you, they had a chance, but they never expressed their feelings, they never said to you, it's like they never spoke up to you, but the answer is yes. This could be even someone that you ask them something and the answer will be yes. They're gonna say yes. If you're thinking about to do something or create something, answer is yes, do it, do it now. So that's your reading, I'm gonna see you later. Bye, God bless you all.